The fifth thing we're going to look at is to look for prominent antagonial notching. And really, when you look at that, I'm thinking about that in terms of muscle contraction. You've got the muscle attachment right there from the masseter. And what happens is the muscle contracts. You can see we've got a really short ramus here. The muscle has to contract, and ultimately the bone starts to remodel in response to the contracted muscle forces. So what you're seeing is the muscle basically just wearing an area right into the bone here. So we're going to take a look at anagonial notching when we start to see it. Same risk factors we're thinking of. We're thinking of retronathic patients. We're thinking of patients with facial asymmetries, class 2 occlusions, and airway issues, again, due to the lack of maxillary and mandibular projection.